We as humans can be so easily fooled. Show us a cute animal with bright colors, soft fur, and big doe eyes, and we can't resist the need to touch and engage with it. But sometimes resistance is a must, especially when it comes to these adorable animals that pack a punch so hard they'll land your name on a tombstone. Ever hear the phrase, when something seems too good to be true, it's probably not true? To put that into context with today's video, when you see certain animals that are so adorable, they make your heart melt. You probably shouldn't go touching them, especially when it's an animal you're seeing for the first time. In today's video, we'll show you our top 8 cute but deadly animals that'll 9 times out of 10 put you in a grave. Let's jump right in. Number 1. Poison Dart Frogs these aren't regular frogs living in dense forest swamps or those you'd want to keep as a pet. Instead, they're regarded as the deadliest animal on the planet. Such a reputation doesn't come without potency. The potency can see up to 10 men die with just a single drop within 3 minutes. To put this in proper perspective, it takes about the size of 2 grains of table salt to inhibit your nerves and ultimately lead you to the grave. These frogs come in a variety pack of bright colors and patterns which serve as a warning to predators that they intend to put you in a body bag, if you dare try to touch or even attempt to eat them. These bite-sized, lovable creatures range from 0.4 to 2.4 inches in size and ooze some of the most deadly neurotoxins known to man from their skin. One in particular, the golden poison frog, is one of the most poisonous animals on Earth. Carrying enough poison to murk 10 to 20 adult humans, 20,000 mice, or two bull elephants. You don't want to go close to any of these cryptic kermits, let alone touch one, because there isn't a cure for their poison just yet. They didn't name these guys poison frogs for nothing. They're cute little merchants of death. Just imagine if they were bigger. Number 2. Blue Glaucus for sure, finding something as colorful and unusual as the blue glaucus on the beach would pique anyone's interest. You'd simply want to pick it up and admire it. But before you listen to the voice in your head nudging you to pick up this unassuming blue alien-like creature, there are a couple of things you need to know. The blue glaucus, blue dragon, blue sea slug, or glaucus atlanticus if you choose to call it by its scientific name, are a very unique kind of sea creature that floats upside down by leveraging on the surface tension of water. You might wonder why any creature would choose to float upside down, as if floating or swimming isn't hard already. So why do it upside down? Well, this is actually something the blue sea dragon does to evade predators. By floating this way, their underside matches the color of the ocean, and the other side matches the color of the ocean floors. This is known as countershading. Since this creature puts so much effort into staying out of sight, You'd understand why they pack such a deadly punch when they eventually get caught by predators or touched by humans. Interestingly, they aren't venomous on their own. Here's the kicker. They get their venom from what they eat, and they have a long menu of very poisonous diets, one in particular being the Portuguese man o' war. So for instance, if you pick up a blue glaucus that just ate a very poisonous jellyfish, it's going to sting you with venom more concentrated than that of the jellyfish it ate. Pretty sick, right? Number 3. Blue Ring Octopus Not everyone would be as lucky as Kaylin Phillips, who unknowingly held a blue ringed octopus in her hands long enough to even make a TikTok video. She, like many of you out there, saw a cute little critter in the water and decided to pick it up. Little did she know, the little guy in her hands releases enough highly toxic venom in one bite to murk 20 people within minutes. The blue ringed octopus is one of the deadliest creatures in the ocean, and if she hadn't been so lucky, we would have heard an entirely different story. These tiny cephalopods bear striking yellow colors with vivid blue rings all over that intensify when feeling threatened or stressed. They're no bigger than a golf ball and have a thousand times more deadly venom than cyanide. Make no mistake, they'll put you six feet under in a heartbeat. The bad news is that there's no anti-venom available and most of the time, you won't know if you've been stung as their bite is tiny and often painless. So don't be like Kalen. You could end up not being as lucky. It's absolutely normal to play with things we already know aren't deadly, like seashells, pebbles, or sand. Number 4. Flamboyant Cuttlefish 
The flamboyant cuttlefish is one of the flashiest yet deadliest creatures. There's nothing more alluring than watching a flamboyant cuttlefish walking along the ocean floor. That's probably the safest place to admire these cute critters from. They are a cute-looking species with a long oval mantle and arms that are long and blade-like. Their skin contains chromatophores, which are special pigment cells that change the color of the skin, creating a vibrant display of attractive, flashing colors all over the body. This color change occurs for several reasons – a warning to predators, a mating display, or to attract prey. They're just looking to catch a body in all three categories. If you're unlucky enough to come in contact with them, they give off a potent poison just as lethal as the blue-ringed octopus. Remember him? But here's the catch. They don't inject their toxins with a bite or sting. Their flesh contains a toxin, making them only poisonous if eaten. Regardless, it's best to leave these creatures alone in their natural environment. No cuddling with the cuttlefish. Number 5. Slow Loris The slow loris is one of the rarest primates in the world, and are the only venomous primate. They're an internet sensation thanks to multiple videos circulating of them adorably raising their arms to be tickled. But make no mistake, they are deadly, and their venom comes from the unlikeliest of places – their elbow. People have reportedly been wiped off the planet after being bitten by the slow loris, but how does the venom generated in their elbow get to their mouth? They actually lick the secretions of their elbows, which doesn't become venomous until it reacts with their saliva. Kinda like weaponizing a warhead. They may be slow, as the name hints on, and can't move out of the way of danger, but their venom is warning enough for any intending predators. We could go all day about how bad these creatures are, but you'll still blush at the sight of one. Number 6. Cone Snail Of all the snails out there, the cone snail is arguably one of the most colorful. They'd be the star of any aquarium, but after seeing what these fish-hunting snails do to their prey, you'd have a rethink of your pet choices. The cone snails have a harpoon within their proboscis that contains a toxin that paralyzes prey within seconds, and they can shoot you with this harpoon at 400 miles per hour. And if you think it's just tough luck for the fish, it's my pleasure to let you know they're pretty deadly to humans, too. And by pretty, I mean very. Their venom is a thousand times more powerful than morphine, causing muscle paralysis, visual impairment, respiratory failure, and can be fatal. Also, there's no anti-venom. You've been warned. Number 7. Hooded Potohui Crows have always been on the receiving end of some unjust criticism. And when you learn about the hooded Potohui, you'll support me on this notion. We've all seen crows as ominous birds that look unappealing, noisy, and murk little birds. But the real bad bird in the Corvidae family is the hooded Pitohui. And you'll agree with me in a minute. Hooded Potohuis look good. I'll give them that. But don't go petting one of these brick red-bellied birds like you would a canary. Their skin and plumage contain homobatotrichoxin a neurotoxin that causes numbness and tingling in those that come in contact with it, thereby making this bird one of the most toxic in nature. They don't just have a trace of this neurotoxin, their entire feathers and skin is covered in them. They equip their plumage by eating coracine beetles. Just the right amount of this toxin can cause paralysis. So imagine kissing one as you hike through the woods. Number 8. Pufferfish not all the animals in this video are deadly to the touch. At least you'd need a slow loris to bite you before causing any harm, and the pufferfish is even more human tolerant. You can even pet him or allow him to bite you and still go home smiling. However, never make the mistake of eating one. It might be your last meal. They have a toxin, tetrodotoxin, produced within them by bacteria they acquire from many years of grazing on reefs and eating mollusks. They are highly poisonous, with this toxin being a hundred times more deadly than the Black Widow spider's venom. Remember, some of the most dangerous things could come in pretty packages. Therefore, don't go around poking animals with your fingers or trying a new soup recipe with some fish you caught in the ocean. See you next time.